Welcome back. Let's talk about the best ways to get around in Figma. First, please go to your recent files tab and right click these two projects we previously created. To delete the project, simply right click it from the list and choose delete. Okay, just in case you made a mistake, you can always go to drafts and from there you have a deleted section. Okay, now let's create a brand new file through control N or whatever method you prefer and let's get to work. Initially, I know that everything seems so empty. Any project starts with a frame. That's the first thing you need to remember. A frame is like an artboard or a canvas, but it's just a bit different in Figma. It's a place where you add all your text, images, basically your content. That's all inside the frame. Don't worry about the definition. As we work, you'll soon get it. To add the frame, please hit F to activate the frame tool or simply click here. Oh, by the way, there's another tool here called the slice tool, but we don't want that. Okay, we have the frame tool selected and the right panel just changed. You have loads of options that are very well organized. Phone, tablet, desktop, and so on. And you can click on their names to open or close them. And if you click on any of them, say iPad mini, the frame automatically gets added. You can also see it in the layers panel. See this symbol here that kind of looks like a hashtag? That's a frame. To delete it, just tap the delete key and that's it. Okay, let's move on to the desktop section and choose the first item from this list, which is also called desktop. We can see the size right here. It's 1440 by 1024. There you have it. Now, the problem is most web design projects should start with a frame that's 1920 by 1080. That's what I strongly recommend. The best way to resize it is to use this part here. W stands for the width and H stands for height. Instead of 1440, click here and now you can type in 1920. Same thing for the height, we're looking for 1080. Now, the frame expanded and we can't see it very well. Here's what you need to do. To zoom in or out, please hold the control key and use your mouse wheel. If you scroll backwards, you'll zoom out. If you scroll forward, you'll zoom in. After you do it a few times, it's gonna feel natural. Please use your left hand, ideally your pinky, to hold the left control key on your keyboard. Now use your scroll. Please do the following. Move your mouse in the corner of the frame and zoom in. As you can see, this really helps you focus on that area. Now zoom out and move to another corner. Same thing, zoom in by scrolling forward. I know this seems like very basic stuff, but trust me, it's essential that you practice. You can't move forward until you master this stuff. There's one more thing that you have to know how to use, and that's the spacebar key. Say that we're zoomed in to a corner, and we're very happy with the zoom level. But now we want to move to the other corner. This is called panning, panning around. Hold the spacebar key and your mouse cursor is gonna change to a hand. If you let go of the spacebar key, it will go back to the standard arrow, the move tool. So again, hold the spacebar, click, hold and move from corner to corner, from side to side, up and down. By managing to master these two simple techniques, you're creating a very solid foundation. This is your alphabet. This is your basic, basic math. Please learn it. There's no getting around it. To recap, hold the control key and use your mouse scroll to zoom in or out. And hold the spacebar key, click and hold to move around from side to side, to pan around, panning around. Okay, please start an empty project and practice it because the next lecture is gonna be an exercise.